All right, welcome back guys. You guys may recognize this one, especially the backyard. This is where I did that big tree cleanup. Um, but today we're gonna be filming the yard. I'll get to that in a second. I wanted to start with a little tip for the cameras. This of course, this is my new camera. This is the R700. And the, hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so the issue that you always run into is the wind noise, and this was great because it had the jack for the external microphone there. But, uh, as it turns out, the external microphone that came with it was lousy, and I couldn't use it. So, um, what I did here is I cut the cover for that external microphone. I cut a, a piece off, and I glued it onto the microphones that are on the camera. And honestly, in the long run, this is better because the external microphone was on this bracket that stuck up and it was a big annoying thing. And the whole idea is to get this in your pocket. And believe it or not, this does work. This is keeping most of the wind noise out. It's just a little tip. You can also use cotton balls and you can just tape them on there if you want. And no, I didn't tape across the microphones. I taped, the microphones are here and here and I glued over here in the middle and on the side, and you should be able to see under there that it's a seal on the bottom. So, I know it's all blurry, I'm using the GoPro, but the, uh, another car. Okay, so that's just a tip. Um, tape or glue some foam on there, or you could use uh, some, one of those fuzzy things that kind of looks like a rabbit foot, or a cotton ball or something like that, and that will reduce your wind noise. Real easy to do. I think we should all do it. Anyway, back to the yard. Okay, and back to the cannon. As you can see, I've got a bunch of little white flowers to mow over again. Those are always fun. And I'll come around here to show the rest of it. And we'll get to the backyard in a moment. See, there are more of those flowers. It's been really dry here, but this yard is always very wet. So when it's really dry, this yard is just normal. And when it starts raining, it's almost unmowable. So today it's going to be good. See, like for example, right now the wind is blowing, but my guess is that it's not affecting the recording. So let me set up the camera and I'll get started.
right, so here's the backyard. As you can see, those sunflower trees are trying to grow back. And um, some of them, so like there's a stump under this one and under that one and that one way back there. So I can't mow over those. But I can mow over these smaller ones, so that should be pretty neat. And uh, these. And wow, you know, this is another example of how the backyards grow much faster than the front yards. Anyway, most of it will be the lawnmower. Definitely going to be able to set up more angles than I thought. Pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and weed whacking these things down. Okay, let's get going.
Okay, so obviously I couldn't mow over all of those. Um, I mowed over some of them. I know exactly where the stumps are. I know how high I can mow. Um, but I got to do the rest with the weed eater. This is the Husqvarna 535. And it is up to the task. And we got the low noise .130 line on there. Let's get a close up of that. That's the stuff to do it. Okay, so this should be pretty neat. Let's do it. All right, that wraps it up for that. I hope sooner or later those trees are gonna give up. That was the big one over there. And there's a customer. Very satisfied. <laughs> but I hope these die soon. I don't even know if they're gonna.
and that does it. Okay, and so this is a good opportunity to test my microphone cover. Right now it is pretty steadily windy. And I'll turn it all directions to see what that's doing. Naturally, it's going to die down the moment I start trying to explain this. So maybe I'll go back to this. So I'm all done with the yard. And this one always comes out looking really nice. Look at this. I'll walk around to the front. It's bahia grass in the front and St. Augustine plus weeds in the back. There we go. Almost started getting stripes over there. But anyway, that'll wrap it up for this one. Just wanted to show one last thing on the end here. Looks like I'm getting another lawnmower for my kind of restoration blog. They've been trying to get rid of this one for a while. And I finally said, all right, all right, I'll take it. And so I will work on this one. What is it? It's uh, 17. Uh, yeah, it's got some promise. It's stuck in gear. The, uh, the wheels will turn. The transmission is not locked up, but the shifter is locked up. And uh, the actual linkage moves, but the shifting on the transmission does not move. It doesn't sound too bad. And of course, it's got a bad battery. It's got so little issue getting the tires back on, but I think I can do this. So, look forward to seeing that one in the uh, restoration vlog. It's not next. I'm working on the Great Dane right now. And then will be the snapper handlebar, handlebar mower. And then that Troy belt. And anything else that shows up. But that will do it for this vlog. I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for lots and lots more. Later.